Okay, so I'm going to try something a little different that I normally don't do on my blog. They call these video blogs or vlogs. Um, I know a few other people have done them, and I feel like it, since I haven't written anything in over two weeks or anything on here, so I figured good way for people to see me, I guess. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock here on Tuesday. What's the date? April, April 12th. And, um, actually quite a bit, kind of, has happened, well, not so much has happened since my last post. Um, I've gotten in the swing of school and things, got my first grade back for a paper here, which is hard to see, the grading scale is a little different, and it's hard to see the grade that I got on a paper, knowing that it transferred back to, like, the equivalent of a B in America. So, that was kind of like a shocker, I guess, so... Did my first round of assignments kind of thing. Classes are going pretty well. I'm taking grades for two of my classes, doing a pass-fail kind of credit, no credit for another two. So those are going pretty good. Um, still been going to the beach maybe once or twice a week. Um, let's see. And a lot of other things have happened in preparation for the next few weeks. Um, when you're in Perth, there's like one of the things to do is you go to somewhere called Rottnest Island, which is about um, a half an hour ferry ride off the coast. Um, it's a little bit farther up north and obviously to the west because it's in the Indian Ocean. But they're supposed to have really good beaches and good places for snorkeling and everything. So we, um, a bunch of us from Curry Hall rented a cabin and we'll be going up there this weekend. I'm just going for one day because then on Sunday I'm doing something through UWA's like uh, recreation center, fitness club kind of thing. It's an event. It's called Adventure Day Walk and they're kind of just taking us through some areas of Perth that are supposed to be really scenic and everything so that's what I'm doing this coming Sunday. Then we have another week of school and then there's a bunch of us from Curry Hall we all decided through the same UWA program we're going to Margaret River, which is a few hours south. Um, it's a few hours south um, of Perth. And we're doing something called vertical challenges. So we're doing things like rock climbing, um, something called abseiling, which is apparently like you basically go down the side of a, like you go downwards on a mountain cliff, I think. And then mountain biking might be included in that. And I also signed up for free mountain biking lessons, and we go on a trip in June, and it's free through Curry Hall. Because we're the only of the five colleges that are associated directly with UWA, we get all these, like, free deals. So every Monday night now, we'll be going, um, there's a group of us going and going to get lessons, so that starts in a few weeks. And then right after the Margaret River thing, which is over Easter weekend, and Religious holidays are not quite as, it's not as big of a deal here. It's more this, the country of Australia or continent or whatever is kind of more non-denominational than I would say the U.S. is by a lot. So Easter is not that celebrated. I know like I, I, I gave up something for Lent or something or sometimes I wear my cross on my neck and people are like, you know, what's that all about? So people don't really understand that as much. But so we're doing that over Easter weekend. And then that Monday, then we get um, a week off for, you know, break. And we're going to Bali for a week. And then when we come back, I have a few weeks. And then I randomly decided the other night, I was like, I wasn't planning on taking any trips to the East Coast. And I was like, well, how many times am I on Australia? So I randomly decided to book some airfare and go to Sydney. So I'll be doing that from Wednesday, May 11th until Sunday, May 15th, by myself. So I booked my airfare. I'm skipping class on a Thursday and a Friday, but I'm only skipping like three lectures, so it's really not that big of a deal because they put the lectures online here, which is kind of nice. Um, randomly just decided, hey, how many times am I here? So doing that by myself, going to stay in a hostel that got pretty good rates that was for like 25 bucks a night. So did that. Um, I already signed up for the first day that I'm there. I plan on going to, it's called the Taronga Zoo, and it's the zoo in Sydney, and you have to take actually a ferry to get there, and it's supposed to be 
beautiful. So I'm doing that the first day that I get there. Third, I get there Wednesday night. So the day on Thursday, I'll be going to the zoo. And I know I signed up for a tour to see the Sydney Opera House, which is supposed to be gorgeous. It's like an hour and a half long tour at night. So those are my first two events for the day. And then the second day, I plan on um, climbing the Sydney Harbor Bridge, which is the one that you can actually climb. That costs about $200, though, and I don't have enough money to do that. But for 10 bucks, you can just go up one of the sides of it. And it's supposed to be an incredible view. You can see basically the whole city. So that's another thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that on the Friday that I'm there. And then that same day, I plan on going to the botanic gardens that they have there, which are supposed to be gorgeous. And then I have one more day there on Saturday, so I either might do some shopping or go to one of the beaches that they have over there. And there's a ton of other things that you can do. And I know the hostels kind of accommodate people that are might be there by themselves. So, yeah, I'm going to Sydney in about a month from now, randomly. And I'm I'm not that nervous to go by myself, actually. Because, I, I don't know, I traveled all the way here kind of by myself, even though I, I kind of traveled with someone. But it's been, a, it's been a strange adjustment, you know, getting starting fresh with a brand new group of people that don't know you from anywhere prior. You had to really build relationships, and uh, that's not hard for me. It was just hard sometimes when you're having a rough day and you have no one to turn to. And I end up Skyping my mom or dad online because those are the only people that know me from before. So um, that's been kind of a strange adjustment. I do miss home sometimes. I don't I don't miss home so much. Sorry, Mom and Dad. But not, not as many people live away at college as they do like when they come here. I know um, my Canadian floor mate, he lives at home when he's at school. So this is a kind of a brand new thing for him where it's, it's not difficult for me to be from home. But I do miss Champaign a lot. I miss the on-campus feel of University of Illinois which they don't really have here. They don't have like intercollegiate sports because the universities are so spread out from each other that, you know, there's not a football game that goes on on a sa every Saturday. There's no no basketball. There's no let's wear our school spirit at all times like I'm used to in American colleges. So I've really gotten a sense that, yeah, I do go to a strictly American college experience type deal at home. So it's made me really appreciate, I guess, U of I more than I thought I would. So it's still getting adjusting. Um, I'm going to be here for another two months. So And it rained for the first time ever here the other day. And I know this video is getting really long, but I got caught. It hadn't rained for about almost two months. It was going on two months of no rain. And everything was still green. I don't know how things stay green. But it had finally cooled off a little bit. And on my way to class the one time, it just... This was like last week, downpoured, and I got soaking wet to class. I didn't really even care. I was running to class. I had to take off my flip-flops just to run to class. But, and it's since then, it's cooled off, and it's been drizzling a few times here and there. So, kind of a drastic weather change, even though they everyone here thinks it's cold, but, you know, coming from Chicago, this is nothing. But, so that's currently the weather. Talked about my trips. Um... So I think I'm going to leave it at that and just post this here with maybe a few pictures. I lost my camera, or I didn't lose my camera, I lost my camera battery. I don't know how I managed to do that for a, a few weeks, so I didn't take too many pictures. I don't have any too many new pictures, but I should be after these few trips. So I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll see you guys later. Sorry if this video was strange or weird, but love you all, and I'll see you soon.